Right. So just now we have looked at a glance in terms of the uh, introduction to everything engine. Right. We have looked at the open cycle, closed cycle, and some uh, major components of the gas turbine engine. Now we are going to subtopic 1.1, which is the open cycle single shaft as well as the twin shaft arrangements. So this uh, schematic, figure 0.1.1, what we have shown before, is a simple gas turbine system. And if the gas turbine is required to operate at a fixed speed, right? you fix the speed and you fix uh, the load conditions such as base load power generation scheme, the single shaft arrangement uh, shown in figure 1.1 is more suitable. Just as simple as having a compressor connected to the shaft, uh, to the turbine, and you have the power output. Eh? Okay, in the middle, we have the uh, combustion chamber, right? Um, this particular figure, right? when uh, it shows a single shaft open cycle gas turbine with heat exchanger. What happens if we put a heat exchanger? So a heat exchanger might be added as shown here, okay, to improve thermal efficiency. You want to make sure that the uh, heat losses are being uh, utilized eh? with reduced power, of course, uh, with uh, um, uh, um, disadvantage of having a reduced power output of 10%. Why is it so? Because this is due to the frictional pressure loss in the heat exchanger. Because heat exchanger also uh, has uh, its own um, performance. So it is not 100% perform uh, performance. So it normally about 80% to 90% only. Okay. So this is an example of single shaft where we have a single shaft connected to the compressor and the turbine. Uh, it is an open cycle with heat exchanger. Uh, a heat exchanger is essential for high efficiency when cycle pressure is low, but it becomes less advantageous as the pressure ratio increases in the uh, compressor. Right? So aerodynamic developments in compressor design have permitted the use of high pressure ratios that efficiency is more than 40% compared to a simple cycle. Imagine figure 1.1, a simple gas turbine cycle compared to 1.4 just now with the uh, advanced aerodynamic development in the compressor design in terms of having a different blade angle and, and numbers of blade and the compression ratio can be increases and the performance of the overall gas turbine engine can be uh, increased by 40%, right? The basic heat exchanger cycle is seldom considered okay, in, a, in a basic gas turbine design because of the um, overall performance is, um, it is, the power output is uh, being reduced to uh, uh, being reduced 10%. Eh? So even though you have uh, efficiency um, um, of the simple cycle can be increased for more than 40%, but the, the advantage is, is quite small compared to the uh, <coughs> compared to the uh, with um, uh, penalty and other costs related. Um, figure 1.4b, and this is another, another figure that shows uh, a modified form uh, proposed for use when fuel, for example, like pulverized coal is being used, okay? Instead of having the combustion chamber next to the, uh, connected to the uh, heat exchanger, it is being uh, the the um, the air okay the air being heated by heat exchanger before it being supplied to the uh, turbine where we already prep the air the air being uh, increased in terms of the energy and temperature then it is being um, uh, supplied to the combustion chamber so in in such word that the incoming air for the combustion chamber is much more higher compared to the earlier arrangement so. It is uh, such that the product of combustion contain constituent which corrode or erode the turbine blade. In this particular example, right, the turbine blades are, are less prone to corrosion because uh, you have the combustion uh, process uh, right after the 
turbine stages. Okay, so compared to when you have it here in figure 1.4a. So it is much less efficient than normal cycle, right? Since the heat exchanger is transferring the whole energy input instead of merely a small part of it, right? So when flexibility in operation is of paramount, in other words, when driving a variable speed load such as pipeline compressor, earlier uh, example of at a fixed speed load. Eh? So you have a, uh, you, 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 you set the operation at a fixed speed, right? But whenever you have uh, a variable speed load, okay, flexibility in operation, right? Uh, for example, like a pipeline compressor, you have a marine propeller or road vehicle. So the use of a mechanically independent or uh, free power turbine is desirable. Okay. So in this twin shaft arrangement, figure 1.5, the gas turbine with separate power turbine, right? We have a, a, another case here where you have the compressor connected to a single shaft to the gas generator, uh, sorry, to the turbine. This is what we call the gas generator. And it is uh, coupled with a power turbine, another turbine that is being, being uh, set over there, okay? Uh, and this combination acts as a gas generator for the uh, low power, the power turbine. So the performance of gas turbine may be improved by reducing the work of compression and or increasing the work of expansion. So I say it again, where uh, the performance right, can be increased, increased when, whenever you reduce the compress, com, compression work or you increase the uh, work of expansion in the turbine okay power required is proportional to the inlet temperature inlet temperature of the turbine okay compression process can be carried out in two or more stages with intercooling the work of compression can be reduced and turbine output can be increased by dividing the expansion into two or more stages Right, so in this particular case, it's much more complex. Remember, figure 1.1, you have only one type of compressor. You have one combustion chamber and one turbine. In this particular arrangement, that uh, plant incorporating intercooling heat exchanger and reheat is shown. Eh? So you have intercooler, right, the heat exchanger. You also have uh, low pressure compressor high pressure compressor and it is connected to the high pressure turbine and low pressure turbine. So you can see that uh, there are two combustion uh, process took place. So complex cycle like this, right? It is a uh, type of uh, the possibility of varying the power output by controlling the fuel supply to the reheat chamber, leaving the gas generator operating closer to its optimum condition.